This is Luke Friesen, and this is another video on uh, Warhammer 40k, the basic rules, breaking down the math. Uh, in the first video, I talked about the to hit roll and ballistic skill, and how it could also be possible to get rid of the ballistic skill stat if we just simply use different formulas that are still working the exact same way. Um, and that's what I like to, to try to do, is... Uh, not only explain how the math works so that our brains can kind of wrap around the rules of the game a little bit better and work without having to refer to the rules by using our thinkers and, uh, and also to make suggestions of how we could just kind of streamline these things, sync, sync up uh, different rules to, to make it easier to play. So let's take a look at the Tawoon chart today. Now, as you may already know, I'm sure you do. Uh, this is your Tarun chart. You have the enemy toughness listed on the top from 1 to 10. You have your strength from 1 to 10 listed on the left. And so if I have a strength of 4, I'm using a weapon with a strength of 4, and I want to beat a toughness of 3, I just line that up and go, it's a 2+. Plus. 2+, plus, people. This is going to be super easy, I hope. Oof, ones are terrible. All right, um, and so same thing goes if I'm trying to use the strength four weapon against toughness seven, I got to try to roll a six plus, and if I'm trying to get a toughness eight, there's no chance of that even happening. Um, I'm lucky that I can even hit uh, a toughness of seven at all. Now let's look at the formula for that. The formula for this is basically, basically, D6, your roll, plus strength, strength of your weapon, minus four. D6 plus strength minus four. Now, that's, that's how that works. You roll your, you roll your two wound. Let's say that I am using that four there. Um, and let's say I roll a two and I'm going up against a toughness of three. Um, I add two to four, which is six. And I minus four, which then leaves me with two, and that's just under what I needed to beat that guy's toughness, so therefore it doesn't work, because I did not make it to three. I'm trying to get the toughness or higher in that roll. So let's just do that without the chart for a second. I've got a, a strength five weapon, and I'm rolling a four, so I add that together to make nine. I minus four, brings it back down to five. That means I can beat a toughness of five or higher. Now, the only way that this uh, formula starts getting more complicated is if that rule is a one, it's just an automatic miss. You notice there are no ones on the to wound chart. There ain't no room for ones here. Ones are always misses. If I roll a six on the D6, then I get plus one to the roll. That is why a strength four weapon can actually hurt a toughness of seven because Four plus six minus four still equals six, but because it was a six, you add plus one. So four plus six minus four, but plus one is still seven. So I can still beat that guy. Is that not crazy? Okay, I'll calm down. Um, sixes are always listed twice because basically the, the way the Games Workshop has always tried to design their games is that ones are always bad failures when you're rolling. Sixes are always better successes. Sixes are even better than a five plus one because it's a six. It's the highest you could get. Now, let's take a look at the other kind of to wound type roll. When you're fighting against a vehicle, you don't use the to wound. I found that a little bit strange when I was learning the game. I was like, what? I gotta learn a, to, to do another type of formula in this game? And then I was surprised that, you know what? Armor penetration, is actually really easy to learn. There isn't no table that you're rolling on. It is simply your D6 plus strength, and then you try to match the armor you're trying to beat. And if you get higher than the armor you're trying to beat, you get a piercing roll bonus. Um, and so it's just super simple. If I've got a strength four weapon and I'm going up against a uh, an armor of ten, I've got to go okay four. I got a uh, strength four. I got to roll a six to beat that sucker. I'm lucky I can even beat him at all. The only weird thing with the armor penetration is that there is no six gives you a bonus. There is no 
one makes you a miss. It's just a straightforward, simple D6 plus strength. Now, I'm gonna come back to that in a second. Here's something we could do to make to wound a lot easier, because you're fighting against non-vehicles more often than vehicles, I mean, in total. I mean, I'm sure there are some armies out there or some foes that you're sometimes fighting that uh, use nothing but vehicles. But in general, you're rolling on the to wound chart a lot. And we can make this a little easier to remember. If we just do this, we add plus four to everybody's toughness. So a one becomes five, two becomes six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, all the way up to 14, which happens to be, I believe, the highest armor value there is as well. 14. Now, Doing this to everybody's toughness, if you do it across the board, we're not touching the armor of vehicles, of course, we're just doing toughness so it makes the tune easier. This does not change the meta of the game. It doesn't make standard uh, units, uh, infantry and uh, monstrous creatures, doesn't make them on this somehow then as strong or, or any way stronger than vehicles. The, you notice the vehicle uh, penetration rule does not have minus four on it. So what we've done is we've gotten rid of the minus four. That's all we've done. Now the to wound basic formula is exactly the same as the armor penetration formula. Simply D6 plus strength. D6 plus strength. D6 plus strength. That's all it is. And when you're rolling to wound, it's like this. Let's say I've got that toughness four. I'm trying to beat, I'm sorry, strength four, and I'm trying to beat a toughness five, I'm thinking to myself, all right, four plus one is all I gotta make. Of course, sorry, that breaks down, that there breaks down, ones are always misses, never mind that. Um, so obviously I need a two plus to beat a toughness five. But let's think about a t higher toughness. Toughness eight, I've got a strength four, I wanna beat a toughness eight, that means I gotta roll four or higher. Four plus four equals eight. 4 plus 5 equals 9. That's how I beat toughness 9. Simple as that. Bada bang, bada boom. That would be so much easier. Oh, oh. And, you know, even if we keep the table, because we still got to roll on it to, to remember our 6s and our 1s, otherwise we could get rid of it all together. Um, eventually, I think everybody is going to find it very easy to remember, oh yeah, 1s are always misses against non-vehicles, and 6s are always a plus 1 bonus against non-vehicles. Um, we could go further and change the rules a little bit and say that, you know what, rolling on to wound doesn't, uh, doesn't give you a bonus with a six or doesn't miss with a one and we're just going to make it the same as armor penetration. That does change the meta. Um, we could change the armor penetration to say that the ones miss and the sixes give you a bonus. That does change the meta because all of a sudden um, your six doesn't just barely beat a toughness of 10 with a strength of four, it actually gives you a, a penetration. So you can't even roll a glancing on a toughness 10 with a strength four, because four plus six plus one is always gonna make 11, but four plus five uh, equals nine, so it doesn't even, doesn't even glance it. It's, it's, it's a weird kind of a, kind of a step there. Um, and so I think it would be great to just make, keep the rules the same, but just change toughness to plus four. That is my suggestion today. I'm all done. Thank you very much for listening. Do please post comments. I am not a mathematician. If you want to challenge anything I'm saying, go right ahead. Um, you know, let's all learn from each other. Let's do this. Yeah.